Now, housing and particularly homelessness is a big issue at the moment and certainly has featured in this uh, election. And the government has been very active. They're putting 100 million into a homelessness reduction uh, strategy. That's spread across 246 different parts of the country, including Worthing. And one of the really smart projects dealing with rough sleeping here in Lyndhurst Road in Worthing is a joint project between the council using uh, government uh, money, the fantastic local homelessness charity uh, Turning Tides, formerly the Worthing Church's Homeless Project, and Roffy, the developer, who had the former nurses' home behind me uh, available for the next five years before it uh, developed it, and gave it over to the charity to house some of the rough sleepers in town and is, I think, a huge success. It's not without problems and I know some of the people in the neighbourhood have had some concerns about it and those are being um, addressed. But what crucially this project does is not just give shelter for people who otherwise are rough sleepers, but there are all sorts of support services with mental health, with uh, benefits, with computers to try and get people back on their feet so that when they come out of uh, here they can go into suitable accommodation and live independent lives. Too often what happens you have temporary accommodation over Christmas or whatever and then those rough sleepers are back on the streets again and it's not a long-term solution. So I want to see more smart projects like this and as a result of this project the rough sleeping numbers in Worthing have actually plummeted. A year ago the numbers were something like uh, 30 the recent count of the number of rough sleepers in this town was just six. That's six too many, but those people have been offered accommodation and have got more complex uh, difficulties as, uh, as well. So I want to see more smart thinking, more thinking outside the box as a result, result of the Homeless Reduction Act that the government came in with uh, this year. We're taking more people off the streets, we're providing more flexible accommodation to get them back on their uh, their feet and we're also through things like uh, help to buy we're getting more affordable housing for young people to get on that housing ladder not enough and still affordable doesn't actually genuinely mean affordable for a lot of people and that's why I have been very concerned about some of the many luxury developments and flats appearing along the likes of uh, Shoreham Harbour which um, are still out of the reach of a lot of local people. So I want to see, and this government wants to see, and the next Conservative government will make sure we are helping more people onto the housing ladder with genuinely affordable accommodation and doing things like taking a lot of people out of stamp duty altogether. These are all measures which actually the Labour Party and Parliament uh, opposed uh, before. Housing and homelessness are key issues in this election and a Conservative government will make sure we've got more people in safe, secure homes and fewer people on our streets.